Oh hey, it's Behind the Wolfus. Another episode of this series that you probably forgot was an actual series. This is not a tutorial video, but I thought it'd be interesting to show my workflow or workstation because I have uh I've used a couple of times the 3D rotating rooms in effect in After Effects that's not really 3D but it sure looks like it. This is for Dude Walthus, the final episode, the the final one. Think about having the underground hall be a 3D rotating room. This is one way to get different camera angles. This is pretty much how it would well it's a work in progress it's I'm still only part way into it so this is pretty much edited together with just these flat images there's a uh, different ways of achieving these 3d looking effects you can even have a character like Koishi here for example or you can just alter the scaling and you can make it seem like the character is is a uh, being flipped over in a 3D space while they're really not this is what i used for the 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 bucket series while the one where they're on the sticks they they're not flipping through 3D space it's just they're getting squished down But uh, After Effects has an option where you can turn on this box here and it allows the characters to actually, it, it gives them this Z axis over here which uh, allows them to um, flip around in actual 3D space. But it's still not real 3D because it's not a 3D program it's still a 2d composition program i'm going to show how i do this uh, with a new composition uh, open this up as its own thing and the way that i do it is i uh, copy and paste it five times four for the walls and then one as a uh, center point that I essentially use as the controls. It sits in the middle and acts as the 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 camera. So that's the one that I would hide. So I would flip one on its side. So I figure out which one would be like that. And then using these images up here, I would move the the others. It's not the right one. You can see the line there where you can see where it is in this 3D space. And it's basically a lot of finagling trying to get this to work in After Effects is it's not that easy to see what you're doing while you're in the 3D space. Really good example of something that I've completed is from uh, this video from the Miko and Futo series. This uh, rotating room this one, it's a uh, where you have the the background is way out there. You get the different views. To figure out which one is the control center. Well, here it is. So 
So I can change its orientation and can see how it works. It's a lot of trial and error. A lot of it is trying to figure out how this works even. And all of these are all flat images. None of them are actual 3D images. They're just flat images pieced together in a way to make it look 3D. And the, the, the sunlight going into the room is actually just an image that's way out into the distance. Let's see if we can actually get into the room. change cameras you can see here this is a plane that's basically cut through the entire stage to get that sunlight effect and I cannot figure out how to get back into the room uh how did I do this? Trying to get this work is like black magic. So let's just reset the whole thing because I have no idea how this works. It's been a while since I've worked on this. Let's see. Center. I have no idea how I positioned that correctly the first time. Let's see, oh there it is. That sunlight effect of the sun coming into the room, that was from that gigantic plane that just cuts right through it with a little bit of a blur on it. And uh, let's see if I can, uh, you, you can see that that wall back there was way out into the distance and it was scaled in a way to make it look right. Yeah, we can zoom in here. Try zoom way out. So this is basically a way to have 3D without it actually being 3D. And it's uh, essentially whatever you can do to make it work is how it works and I find that building around the active character the, the active camera is a lot more easier than trying to place the camera later because the active camera is what you see when you animate like if you go into another view when you render the composition that's not what you're going to be seeing it's the active camera is what you see so when you get your your uh, shot lined up perfectly in one of these custom views, these altered views, and then you render it out, it's not going to render as this. It's going to render whatever the active camera is. So this is not really a tutorial video, but I thought it would be neat to show these things trying to figure out how to place everything right is the biggest challenge when it comes to using this feature in After Effects. It does look neat if you can get it to work right, but it's also very limited because you can only use flat images. Trying to find out where you rotate from is can be a struggle. Anyways, I, I thought that'd be neat to look into for a behind the wall this video.